What's up guys, uh, Seth Dean here. Um, this video is gonna be a bit different. Um, normally I do unboxing videos for um, Loot Crate, and Anime Bento, all kinds of subscription boxes that I get, mystery boxes. Um, this time I'm doing a video for a somewhat of a tech review. Um, something I've been waiting for a very long time, for pretty much almost two years for this to happen. Um, a while back, there was this um, picture that was going around around the net, like Facebook and such, where people were hoping this was real. Um, I it's it's pretty much headphones, and um, it's a special kind of headphones. I love headphones. I I carry headphones around with me all the time, every day, all day, all night. I always wear around my neck. I pretty much have like a wall of different types of weird, crazy uh, headphones that I have. And I found one that was very intriguing. A lot of people around the net thought this was kind of fake or they were hoping this was real, but it's very, very much real. And it's kind of cool and, and cute. And the headphones I'm about to explain is the Accent Wear Cat Ear Headphones. And um, about, I think it was about two years ago, um, the people that started this, they were doing like a little Kickstarter um, program. I think it was, it's, the Kickstarter website was Indigo. Um, and a while back I was, you know, just debating if I should, you know, invest my money into this. And I did, I was like, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it and see how it goes. And they were going for, they're going for $150. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. And the people that are behind this, they are really, really supportive. And I've, I've done a lot of Kickstarter and Indigo programs in the past. And normally, I, I I'm, I'm a bit impatient. I'm, I'm patient on certain uh, tech that I try to acquire for a long time, waiting for them to, to have their funds go through. And surprisingly, I was very, very patient with these people because these guys are very supportive. Um, they will try to answer all your questions. They will try to give you as much details as possible over the few months that I was waiting for these headphones to come into being. Um, and they're very, like literally, they were really nice. Um, they were sending us videos, they will email us of, you know, of all the steps of how they're putting all this together. Um, they were supposed to be done the early, this 2015, like around spring. But um, apparently there was some issues with the factory that was building these. Um, there was some kind of issues, and they had to they had to postpone it. And I wasn't mad or anything. I yeah, I understand what they were going through, especially since they're like constantly updating us notifications about what's going on. And they finally found another factory or some company that would you know make these. And it came out released around October 30th. Um, now I had these five days after October 30th and I was gonna go ahead and do a video about this but I wanted to test feel these before I have a say of my opinion about these headphones. So let's go ahead and start this out. So come to the box, nice little pretty big good box. I'm keeping the box, I love the artwork. Which by the way, this artist, his name is uh, Yume. I've been following this person's artwork like on deviantart.com for some time and I'm very very happy. That's pretty much just how I knew about the these headphones was because of the artist you made it was drawing pretty cool like characters wearing these cat ear headphones and in the box it comes with a little art of you made one of you made's works and I'm keeping this. I'm gonna frame it and put it on the wall. I am really a big fan of this art stuff. You should check it out. Go to yumeart.com or just look up yume on deviantart.com uh, so pretty cool love the artist check it out um what else was in the box of course the headphones but um you get a lot more stuff than the headphones this side here um comes with a sturdy durable uh headset case to put all your stuff in um so it's zippable, very cushiony and soft. It's got it molded to your headphones. So it's really good. I, I really like that. Um, of course we have the headphones and they're pretty big. <laughs> um, I, I mostly prefer over ear headphones. I can, 
I have a hard time wearing uh, the small plug ones because I have small ears and it's just I can never find a good size for small ear plug headphones. So I always collect over the ear headphones. Um, there are about four different colors and they're, they're blue, there's a blue one, a green one, a uh, purple, and of course I have the red because blood red is my favorite color. This is not exactly blood red, but it's red, doable. Um, during, before these were released, um, during the middle of the Indigo Kickstarter program, um, there was another type of headphones that you can get. It was, it was like some kind of platinum, and instead of the headphones being black, it was kind of like a chrome, um, it was kind of like a chromish effect with a little bit of hint of purple hooish, like one of those cars that change colors at certain angles. It was like that, but it was double the price for it. So I don't know if anybody got those. If anybody got those special, special platinum chrome headphones, they double the price on those. Um, let me know in the comment box if you got those. How, how they look, if you have pictures or video, let me know. I'm very curious how they look, but I got the standard $150 uh, red accent wear headphones and so far um, audio quality it's really good it's about about maybe like 20 something hertz sound it's not like the world's greatest sound that you're going to get but it's doable it's loud enough got a good bass to it um let's see it also comes with a detachable mic and it's like the detachable mic is really simple and easy it's like a little headphone jack uh, detachable and you put that in there it, you can bend it any way you want to um, the great thing about this is that oops, sorry, I'm dropping stuff um, is that you don't have to use these you can go to some other store online or some radio shack well they're out of business um, any kind of little local store or whatever that has like a detachable mic that you can just get a universal detachable mic and you just plug it in and it works so I really like how they did that, where they give you a chance to, to use a different type of mic. So I like that. Type of mic, and it works. It works pretty good. Um, not the greatest quality, um, but it's, it's doable. It works. Um, let's see. And it also came with, maybe like this. It also came with a um, detachable little remote control headphone jack. Uh, both sides, it's female regular headphone jack. Um, got a little remote there, you know, volume up, volume down. If you press one, press the middle button once on your phone. If you have it hooked up to your phone, it should pause and play. Double tap the middle button, go to the next track. So it's, you know, it's like when you have an iPhone with those little remote, uh, little attached, you could just do that. Um, again, you don't have to use this. You can get your own uh, detachable little mic or whatever and plug it in. So again, they thought ahead. You can use different little devices that attach to it. I like it. Um, and of course, it comes with a regular USB connector to charge up the, I'm pretty sure it's here to charge not only the lights, which I'll show you how it's light up, but also the speakers that's in the ears. So that's cool. And you know, it's, it may be, you may think it's kind of short, but again, it's, you know, it's a simple USB port that you can get from any store and you can buy a longer one if you want. No problem. Easy peasy. I like that. Give you the options for that. Um, now back to the headphones. Um, again, I said earlier that there are speakers and cat ears. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, you can, you have little buttons on the one side where you can turn on the speakers if you want to play um, sound out loud. And it's pretty loud. It's not like the best quality again. It's, it's doable, it's good, but it's loud enough for people to hear. If you're with some people around and they want to hear what music you're hearing, just press that button and bam. And you got the volume button where you can turn the, you can adjust the volume levels of the speakers, which is cool.
Um, I, I tested it out at a family dinner for my Thanksgiving and we, of course my family, my family, one of my family members, they were um, showing some videos of a cute, cute little niece of mine doing some singing and such. Nobody couldn't hear it. Hook it up to my phone, easily on the jack, turn it on, loud enough for everybody to hear. So it's really, really handy. I like it. Um, of course, you, the same volume input you can do on, on your phone and such. So it, it's, it works universal both ways on the speakers and the, the cans itself. Um, and the same, there's another button next to it where you can turn it on, uh, the lights. I'll have like a little mini box on the video where you'll see a better uh, screenshot of it. But yeah, it turns on. It doesn't flicker. It doesn't work like an equalizer where you can like blink on the beat of your music. It's just a steady, solid light. And they're pretty bright at night or dark area. Really bright. Um, let's see, am I forgetting something else here? They're pretty hefty. Good. They got a good weight. It's not too heavy, not too light. Just good. Craftsmanship is rock solid. Um, I wouldn't suggest dropping it. It's just I don't do that. But it's it's pretty solid. And the ears are really versatile. You know, you can bend them. You can have it like laying on your shoulder. It looks like I'm having like some kind of armor, light up armor on my shoulders. It's kind of funny. So it's really bendable. You can fold it. You know, put in your case or just have it in the messenger bag. It's it's doable. I like it. Um, let's see. What else? I might have a little video scene of me having it on and wearing it out in the dark, not too dark, but dark area. Um, now this is the interesting thing. When I said that I had it field tested outside with these headphones, you will get a lot of attention. Really, a lot of attention. Um, normally, some people around my neighborhood and at my job that I go to, they, they know I like to wear tech stuff and such. Like, I had like the Nikomi, Nikomimi uh, cat ears that I have. I still have those where you can like have a sensor on your forehead to move your ears on depending on what you're feeling and such. A lot of people were laughing at me on that one, thought it was cool. This doubled the attention compared to Nikomini. Um, I start walking around the neighborhood around these during the day when the light's not on, it's not showable, but people know that I have cat ears on my headphones. So some people will be like, oh, that's kind of cool or cute or ha ha ha. There's a silly grown man wearing cat ears. Um, I took it to work. Um, I had a lot of people that you know was interested and cool. They wasn't sure if it was real or not. Um, they asked me 20, 20 questions about it, where I get it from, how does it work. Um, so you will get a lot of attention. And when I was walking outside at night, they are pretty bright. And it's good for safety wise, like if you're walking around a nice neighborhood and you wanna make sure that you're walking on a sidewalk so no person on a bike or a car won't hit you. They'll, they'll definitely see with these bright lights. Um, I definitely got a lot of people in cars driving by that they'll slow down or something like that and freak out and be like, oh, oh crap, that's, that's real, you know. I had one guy in a car, he like pulled over and asked me where I got it from. Um, some people, though, of course, they'll laugh at you because, again, you'll see a black guy out in the streets wearing cat ears. I don't care. I love them. <laughs> I like the attention. Thank you. Um, so yeah, they're really good. They're cool. They're neat. They're handy to spread music or whatever around in the public. Um, be too careful by having too much attention. You might catch somebody's eye and they might try to persuade you or trying to, you know, be a bad crook or something like that. So don't try to get too much attention with these. And, um, it took me like a couple minutes just to get used to what side of what is what whenever I have them on. Normally I have other Bluetooth headphones I'm on and I have to like memorize what button is what, find on this side or, you know, track, next track on one side. All on one side, you'll easily remember it, no problem. Um, battery life wise, it's, I think it's about around two hours, I think. I, I didn't have the lights on two hours straight, but that's, Usually what everybody online is saying that two hours straight is too, 
is the limits and it'll let you know with this little power there'll be like a little red little light on the bottom where you hook up your usb it'll blink it'll let you know hey low power and um i think i covered everything i think um it has cushion on the bottom here which i don't have a lot of headphones that way i really like to put cushion on here it's really good securely stay up on there I wouldn't recommend jogging. I know some people like to go jogging with their headphones and such. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend jogging these. These are not jogging type. These are more of just chilling, walking around type of headphones. You know, be it DJ. Um, I tested these out on my PS4 and my Xbox One. They work. Um, some people said it couldn't work. I, I don't know. They might got a defective one. I don't know, but it works on my end. Um, um, I also work on the PC. You know, I mostly use my other actual gaming headsets, but they work. You know, it's just as long as you have like a headphone jack with a microphone and such, you're good. Um, I think that's it. Um, so far, oh yeah, and these are not Bluetooth. Sorry. Um, I'm actually going to order a, a Bluetooth with that, uh, sorry, Bluetooth adapter. You know, you can find like a little small Bluetooth adapter, like maybe on Amazon or some eBay or some store or whatever, and just plug it up in the headphone jack, have it paired up with your phone. So it should work. So you can turn it into a Bluetooth headphone. It should be no problem. It's connect headphone jack. There you go. So I'm definitely gonna try that out and see. Um, but the cord that it came with is long enough and you can just buy a longer cord if you don't wanna get all tangled up to it. So yeah, that is about it. I really like it. Again, if they're $150, um, go to Brookstone. You can go to either accentware.com and it'll send you a link to Brookstone or you can just go to brookstone.com, look up Accentware. You'll find it, you'll choose the colors. Again, it's blue, green, purple, and red, uh, $150. Um, I think they have like a two year or a three year warranty plan you can choose from. I think the two year plan is, if you don't buy any of the warranty, it comes with a one year warranty, which is cool. Um, there are other plans you could choose, like a $20 for two years or $30 for three years. So. I think it's worth it. It's a good Christmas gift or a birthday gift. Um, I had a lot of kids happy, excited. They're, you know, they thought it was cool. Um, Where's interesting for cosplaying? I might find some kind of cosplay to do maybe with these. But yeah, I like them. They're worth it really to me. Hundred fifty dollars, and I like tech geeky stuff and cool nerdy anime-ish cosplay stuff like these. I like them. But yeah, they're worth it. Um, check it out, guys. I Hopefully, maybe they'll do another prototype. They mentioned that these are first prototype for us Indigo players, uh, buyers. Um, I don't know if they're gonna be thinking of another prototype, maybe. I hope, if they are, I'm down for it. So we'll wait and see what they might think of, but I love them. I've been using them every day, walking around every day. Cool. So that's it. Um, I might try to see, maybe I can do some more uh, tech videos like these. I normally I like to buy all kinds of weird stuff and talk about it. So yeah, that'll be it guys. This is Seth Dean. Let me know in the comment section if you like or have any more questions for these. Hit that subscribe button and peace.